Spurs. Come on, Spurs. Oh, you're a Spurs fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, really? Yeah. really? I thought Spurs, they have only two fans in game. <laughs> and we can like the the president. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I know another. All right. So we'll get into our starting 11. And uh, first of all, our goalkeeper, we settled on Loris Atizigi. Yeah, Atizigi in the Conference League. Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's important for us to say that Atizigi's side didn't really play in the, in the, the weekend. weekend. Yeah, let's have uh, that. They played in the Conference League, which yeah. is. I think Thursday. Yeah. Uh, other, the other Ghanaian goalkeepers they didn't have a good game. game yeah. uh, Roller Court for the first time had a bad game. So obviously we said Lawrence at so yeah. that people will not say at this game no playboy. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's good to see him that way. I he's one of them goalkeepers in the team that so far, if you look at our national team, the last three years, he's been the only goalkeeper who plays at the highest level. Mm, uh, consistent. Consistently, consistently yes, playing week in, week level, out, week I think. And it's good, because yeah, when you have yeah. a goalkeeper who plays like that, it's also good for his confidence and all that thing. So, solid goalkeeper Keep, yeah. uh, by our standard. I and think. with Ambrosius as well. DJ, what do you think about Ambrosius being in there? I think he's with Atisigi at St. Yeah, yeah. I think also in midweek Thursday, he, thereabouts. He, he really contributed to that's solidity uh, solid in defense for uh, St. Gallen. And, you know, basically, the goalkeeper has a great job to do, but he cannot do it without, without the defenders, the supporting so, team. Yeah, Stefan Ambrosius did a very good job. And I think he deserves to be in our team. Yeah. 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 And with uh, Stefan himself, uh, I think he joined the club uh, this summer. Yeah. Yeah. And then having that opportunity to play with your countryman. It would also trickle down to help us yeah. because not they often get do you some get familiarity. Yes, not often do you get a centre back, back and a goalkeeper, goalkeeper in the same the team same playing team. for the national yeah. team. So, so it's a plus yeah. for us. Hopefully, Otwado sees this and calls him. But uh, I hear we are looking for a new goalkeeper. I think you heard the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He is with uh, he's in uh, Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. He's plays in the Dutch uh, yeah. league. Yeah. So yeah, interesting one there. Mohamed Salisu for AS Monaco is also yeah. another one we selected. I'm really excited for him yeah. because last season injuries. Last didn't... week he was in our team of the week exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. Second time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm excited for him because he hasn't really settled. Like last season he struggled with injury. Ever since he joined Monaco, he hasn't been very consistent. But to for him to score in the preseason, yeah. go ahead to play two continuous yeah. games. It, he has always been a good player. Very physique. Like... He was rusty when he was playing for Ghana. You could see that he was struggling to make yeah. good decisions. So when he, when he, if he's playing consistently, boy, he's a very he's solid one. He's a very guy. solid one. I think Jiku as well makes it here. Jiku for yeah, Fenerbahce. They won 5-0. A hat-trick for Fred. I think that was a highlight. But uh, Jiku, also impressed. <laughs> Mourinho 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 oh, come on. <laughs> Mourinho has been doing with the top now. He did it in England. He did it with Real Madrid. Record 100 goals. Record hmm. 100 points. Let's not make it look like Mourinho has not done it anywhere before. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just so saying that. don't like, say Mourinho. Yeah, Mourinho he's traditionally quite, known to be defensive. Yeah. defensive yeah. 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 But it's, then, it's, it's that me. odd game or two, he'll get you goals. Yeah. What do you think about Jiku? Oh, Jiku had a great game. If you watch the game, he had... It was fantastic on a day. He keeping a clean sheet is a plus, you know. But for some time now, I think for the past two years now, I think... When it comes to defense, you know that Jiku has been our best exploit in yeah. the Euro. Yeah. Mm. And Jiku has been a fantastic player for mm. the Blasters as well. When it comes to play for us, he has yeah. been fantastic. And he has been one of our best players in Europe. And he should keep up that consistency. Yeah. And I think um, Moreno will love him because Moreno likes players who are committed yeah. and disciplined as well. Yeah. So Jiku is a great guy. And I think he did very well over the weekend. Yeah. And it was fantastic and surprising to see Fred scoring a hat-trick in that game <laughs> as well. But I'm just glad that we had a Ghanaian who contributes to their win. Yeah, it's, 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 fantastic. it's great. It's great. The midfield is packed. I think it's a, a five-man midfield. The first one is Abdul Fatawi Sahaku. We include Sahaku in there. Despite his team's loss, he was still... Uh, in and about the oh, action. Yeah, yeah, um, Jordan bad. made his debut with Abdul Fatal this time, I think. Isahaku is one of the main men for Leicester. He's going to be one of the main men for Leicester. Yeah, he is. No I, 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 I think uh, in our starting level, he's playing on the left wing back mm. because we are doing a three back system. He's playing wide. He has that ability to do that. And I think in Leicester's game, that's what they did. They played against Fulham. They were more stretched, more. And I told you the other time that Leicester City, they decided that in most of their games in the English Premier League, they would have to defend their base and sit back at the block and try and play on counter. 
that means that their wingers will do more defensive responsibilities, which is what Ishako did on that day. That's why maybe he didn't really provide an assist or that because Fulham really gave them a tough time. But obviously he was he played 90 minutes. That tells you that he was really a very good guy. Played quite well, not like a A performance. Mm. But if you look at the other guys in the area. He was basically a player who deserves to be there. Yeah. So Thomas Partey on target. Yeah. Have Arsenal overcome uh, the obstacle that brought did that bring them the title last season? Yeah, they did so. They did so perfectly well. Even though uh, Arsenal, uh, for me, Oli Watkins should have. Yeah, yeah. They were one of the best sides. Of the day. <laughs> I think party party contributed so much. Uh, earlier in the game, I, yeah. I was on Twitter. So I saw a lot of Arsenal fans complaining about his performance. Uh, he hasn't been. The goal that. changes everything. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and he scored that goal, and obviously. That, Everyone so, is excited, excited and has forgotten him, all his wrongs. <laughs> yeah. So people are actually calling for uh, Ateta to bench him. And I think. After the goal. No, I'm I'm talking about this season. Oh, okay. Getting into this season, party has not been that guy. He's 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 it's just two games. Yeah, it's just two games. <laughs> but you know, the, the Arsenal fans are rooting for Ateta to bench him and they want a new And play who? They want probably Jorginho or Marino who will be coming in later <laughs> in the summer. But I think party getting that goal makes uh, solidifies his position. Yeah, yeah. And I think he, he can contribute more going forward because we've seen him last season or two. The, despite the injuries, he has been one of those crucial players for us now. And if he can maintain that form, he'll be very crucial for us now this season because some pundits were saying that if party was fully fit, they would have mm -hmm. won the league. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. Basically, if he's fit this season, then Arsenal are forced to reckon with. Mm, interesting. So, the next player I'll move to is Elisha Owusu. I think uh, his side played Nantes in the yeah. French Liga. They lost, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they but lost. But they lost, and uh, it, it still was a good game for yeah, him, yeah, despite I think the he, loss. He, he played yeah, so. quite well, because uh, he's been a very active player in Ozer's team, uh, even helping them qualify back yeah, to the English. League uh, one, the, yeah. the League One, he's been a very solid guy. In the midfield, I, I, he has that character of being calm on the ball, trying to dominate, and also making peace. Then kind of defensive midfielders who has also the ability to progress the ball quite well. He made a couple of, uh, won a, a lot of interceptions. I think four solid interceptions as a defensive midfielder. Basically, that's your responsibility in the team. One, they played like a, they are just a newly promoted side. So in most games, you would struggle to, mm, to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, energy, but yeah. it doesn't mean that if you are in a team that loses, you're a bad player. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a very good guy. He like he's he's always been good when given the chance even to play for the national team. On a personal level, I think uh, I'm happy for him because he's a very young guy. He needs consistent playing time to be good. Just to touch on Thomas, I think uh, he has this ability to be very good when you are not expecting him to take a strike. Yeah. Remember Ghana against uh, Nigeria in Abuja? Yeah, he scored a very there. similar. Goal. <laughs> yeah, he scored a very similar goal. Yeah. Once he has the ball outside the box, he has that ability to hit a strike he has that, that ability really to struggle score. to save. I think I'm really happy for him. Yeah. I've, I've always maintained that uh, he's better than all the midfielders in that yeah, Arsenal yeah. team. And if he's fit, it will help. And also, his scoring a goal would help his confidence and also help him to be able to perform very well for the team. First in Amankwa, Dead touch yeah. for that yeah. will go there for yeah. Norwich. He has been fantastic. It, it was a 1 1 draw game, I think. Yeah, yeah I think 1 1. Yeah, but that assist was crucial. It was Norwich. The depth, the, like it was the slightest of touches. Yeah. And it got the, the player the awareness, the awareness to do that. To give such a I want him to see him more playing for the Black Stars. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the Black Stars, it's a different issue. But first of all, you have to. To consider a lot of things, you know, Otuado and his system and how he yeah, wants to play. I think where he plays to mm. yeah, and face a lot of competition, in, competition that in that area as well. But I think forcing for Norwich has been fantastic. Yeah. Team. Coming in, I think the first game as well, he had an assist. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did. He had did. an assist and I also had uh, had an assist over the weekend as well. So forcing is a great guy from coming from. Uh, the likes of uh, Leipzig, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Leipzig. What far to Salzburg? He's a product of the local game. Yeah. Yeah. The unicorn. Yeah, yeah. I'll call him a unicorn yeah. because it's not very Salzburg common. And coming through. He's a fantastic guy. And and going to the championship is, is a change of environment. Yeah. But the way he settled in, I'm really, really glad for him. Because most often when these Ghanaian players come from 
uh, other leagues, mm. they, they take a lot of time to, to settle, settle in. And first yeah. two games, he's getting first in with the games. flow. And the first game, actually, it seems he was a substitute. That yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because of how he played in that cameo, he, he, earned, he earned the right to play in the next well. game. And I'm really glad for is um, making the headlines in the championship. Our front three. Go for the first time in the MLS uh, for Osman Bukhari. Jesse set a record, third yeah. highest goal scorer, Ghanaian in the Italian Serie A. Sule Muntari and KP Boating are the only ones that have more. And Antoine Semenyo with an assist. Yeah, so let me start off with Antoine Semenyo. Yeah. Like, I'm really glad for the guy. He has been really, really good for Bobo yeah. this season with a goal in the first game and also uh, getting the assist uh, for Bournemouth in their game against Newcastle over the weekend was fantastic because, you know, Antoine Semenyo had had a lot of critics when he comes yeah. to last time. He missed a lot of chances. And uh, Bournemouth last season, he was fantastic as well. He scored almost a combined goals of 11 with assists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you can't... You, you can't tell what this you, know, you expect from such a striker this season, but he has really done well. Yeah. Uh, starting the season off with a goal and assist each game is, is fantastic for the Ghanaian forward. But moving on, I think he has to solidify himself more yeah. on the team uh, because the summer is not over. Mm. Bournemouth are still buying players here and there. Uh, the good thing is that he's playing on the right wing, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So he gives him more flexibility up front and he can play more games because there's no competition. Yeah, there's no so competition. I think if Anelsi coming in doesn't stop uh, Antoine Semenyo for scoring more goals, but I'm really, really glad for Antoine Semenyo. Yeah, I think uh, he, he had a good game and uh, he some of the pundits... The front made. three, focus on all of them. Uh, <laughs> I think Semenyo was solid, obviously. Yeah. Two goals, uh, two games, two assists. He's very good for a player. A forward, even when you are not getting the goals and you are getting an mm. assist. And even if you look at where he picked the ball, he has that ability to press you high and win the ball off you and make a good decision by providing a solid assist. It was not like he just passed the ball in the box. He picked the ball all the way from the around the center circle. Took He's on a lot of that. players before he ended up We don't have assist. bad players in the team. Oh, no, no. We it's it's about the coaching yeah. and all I've always things. said Ghana yeah, national yeah. team is and just our pitches. Yes, our pitches. And our pitches, pitches yeah. Yes, yes, our yes. Pitches the pitches don't allow them to I play I, as they should. I took my time to rewatch the game. I Ghana played against Central African Republic in Accra. In Kumasi. And... The pitches. The pitch was really bad. Yeah, it was bad. I think Otwadu even himself said the that. The pitch was really... And, and, and you know, when people talk about it, I, I, I think it was like, mm. it's just that, oh, they're trying to... It's a dream. It's a dream or... Like, yeah, even, it's really, no it's even makes it's it no look good. a bit more yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, but, you are but it's, really, it's, no good. It's, it's really bad. And you can now see the state of the pitch And now. Bukhari, see that goal before. he scored. Yeah, I think he was... Obviously, he's a very solid Very, guy. very swift. I think he's... If you look at Ghana's forwards, yeah, he's one of the players that's doesn't come across as a striker but scores a lot of goals yeah i think like he's, he's one of he's those guys one of them guys that does that a lot for us and i, I am really happy for him because he goes into the mls he was not really plays he didn't start by playing no, he started didn't well play the first game didn't really score and managed to score again it's it's characteristics of him yeah leave species and he will sp uh, spread you open and give you a goal he he's one of the new players in that black stars that still has a lot of goals in, under his belt. I am happy that he's scoring now. So, guys, those are the 11 guys that did well for us over the weekend. And... Uh...